Last year, I was in France. I drank beer, ate snails, and fought off a keyring salesman with a baguette. But I'm not gonna get back to France in a while, so I'm in the next best place, Rosebury, Sydney's industrial and abandoned apartment complex district to go to Frenchie's Brewery, started by actual French guys called Frenchie. So we're gonna go there, drink beer, and eat their French treats. Let's go. Hey friends, Benny back again with another beer review. Today we are in Frenchie's Brewery in Rosebury in the cannery complex. There's big leather seats. I feel like I'm in a mafia movie. I've got this amazing looking tasting paddle in front of me. They're 120 mils each. It was 16 bucks for one of these. So, yeah, not bad. They've also given us a book that has descriptions of almost every one of the beers we've got today, except for the first one, the Rising Star. Ah, this is one made with special hops that have not been trademarked yet, but they're going to be called Nectricon, 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 that's the one they're going to be called. It's 4.5% double dry hopped XBA. Let's have a drink to cheers. Yeah, you wouldn't think that a little French bulldog would be so aggressive, but he is. Flavor-wise, it kind of has lacto-fermented kombucha-ish type of flavor. That's really quite sweeping across your palate. And then it's there to stay. It sets up its own little French embassy on your tongue. Yep, that is strong. A bit relaxing on the palate. Think of like a Thai massage. They go really hard on you, but afterwards you're like, ooh, ooh. Mm. As refreshing and as like quenching I feel like this is, it also does feel like a sipper. It's something I just want to take my time with and just chill out on. That's for me, an eight out of 10. Palate cleanser. Next up, the Pale Ale. It is 5.4%, more of a sort of golden color, amberish color. So keen to cheers. Nice, nice, yeah, sealed my mouth right to the sides of my cheeks. Almost solely lemonade type of flavor. That hoppiness that's come out in that naturally sort of really playful type of a way. That is yummy. It's like a soother. People think it's weird when I compare this beer to medicine. Really, it's a compliment. There's hours and hours, lifetimes of footage of people on the internet saying that things that aren't medicine are medicine. Surely it's a compliment for me to say that beer is something that makes you feel better. I mean, it's not exactly, you know, homeopathy, is it? This is a nice beer. That's interesting enough for me that this could be another eight out of 10. Really nice. Next up is the La Perouse. It is a golden beer, 7.2%. Strongest of the day. A dark golden color with a nice, just little bit of head on it. Just chilling out. Let's have a drink to cheers. That is completely different to the other two. It might look similar, but they taste so different. Think uh, like Peroni, think like Italian beers. That's what it tastes like to me. That sort of almost Pilsner-ish sort of like refreshment with some really interesting steely hops. The carbonation does not feel as heavy, but it's always making it feel a bit creamy in your mouth, even though it is kind of thin, it's still a bit creamy. The alcohol though, it's not whacking you in the face, but you're feeling it, it's patting you on the back. And after a few pats on the back, you start to feel a bit fun. This is a beer that you could just lie on a nice grassy backyard. It doesn't have to be a big one, just a nice one. And just lie in the sun and just drink this. Mm. Really, really bold. That extra alcohol is so deserved. It's not like it's just like a little like hit of extra alcohol on the way out. And that's a 9 out of 10. That is lovely. That is just what I'm into. And I didn't even know I was into it. Lastly, the Fresh Harvest IPA. 6.5%. The foamiest one. And it's the one we're saving to last. for cheese. Mm. Yeah, it's different. Normally the last one on the tasting paddle is like the uncle, like who when you're hungover is like, get this up you mate, this will put some s on your But this one isn't like that, this one's just nice, this one's just part of the gang. Taste wise, it's grassy, hoppy, lively, just wrapping around in your tongue. You know when you're having like pasta and you turn the fork and all the pasta wraps around? This is what that is doing to your taste buds. It is spin fork and your taste buds. This hoppy, beery, sort of tart, almost a little bit citrusy, more refreshing, more pourable, quaffable quality to it. What do you think? 
very nice. It doesn't taste strong. Neither of the two stronger ones tasted that strong to me. But it's just so fruity. They're all very fresh and fruity. I think that's another 9 out of 10. That's outstanding. Our top brew of the week is the La Perouse. It just has a flavor that really just transports me away. It's got that classic European flavor. Let's read a bit about it. Multi, complex, and refreshing notes of bread across white stone fruit. Wait, this isn't right. That's better. This is the kind of beer that would have been drunk in high quantities by the sailors of La Perouse. The legend goes the beer took them off course and therefore reached Botley Bay eight days after the first week. Ooh la la. But there's still food to eat. This place is a bistro and I love French bistro food. I see that they make their own charcuterie here. Really excited. This is like my favorite type of food. 34 bucks for this. Also came with this big side of bread. We have two French cheeses here. One from the north, one from central France. A bit of a blue. And you gotta get a big bit. When you have cheese with French people, they don't take a little bit. Oh, this is my cheese. No, they have the big bit. That was a lot of French. Drinking the Tropical Mist New England IPA, 7%. Wonder how it's gonna go with the cheese and that. Blue cheese with the strong beer. It goes together so well. I think the last time I had a really strong beer, I said something about, I hope you like blue cheese, kids. Hope you like blue cheese, kids. That's right, I did say that. Almost peppery, got a lot of alcohol in it. You can taste it. Real juicy, citrusy, very hoppy. Probably give that an eight out of 10, to be honest. Air dried brisola. It's even better a second time. Oh my God, that is delicious. The Riette. I love Riette. Imagine the tin tuna you're getting on an alien planet. It is just irresistible on just a nice bit of really fresh bread. And lastly, the terrine. I always think you should have terrine with a bit of pickle. Why there are not French fast food joints everywhere that sell this is beyond me. That is yummy. And that's made with a lot of love. Oh. Cool. So I had a really nice time at Frenchies. The staff, super friendly. Also super French. Passionate about the food and the beer that they are brewing just right inside. No kids, but there were babies. There was actually appeared to be a parents group there. No dogs. I don't think they're letting dogs inside the whole venue. Lovely beers. Not the most like diverse batch I have to look at, but really a lot of different flavors. And the food was really nice as well. Frenchies is getting an 8 out of 10. Until next time, tell them that he said ya. Bye-bye.